ashver.com Hello, welcome to ashver.com. You are watching interesting video on difference between kidney pain and lower back pain. Please read the disclaimer carefully. Kidney location. Kidneys are located in the upper abdomen, below the diaphragm, near the back wall, on the either side of the spinal column. Their upper parts are placed under the rib cage, and their lower parts are covered only by the back muscles and skin. In certain kidney disorders, such as kidney infection, tapping over the affected kidney triggers pain. How to differ between kidney pain and other causes of lower back pain. Kidney pain usually appears in the flanks and, sometimes, in the upper abdomen. Pain from kidney stones can appear in the flanks or lower left or right abdomen and can radiate toward the groin. Kidney pain is usually not significantly affected by the body movements. Disorders of the spinal column cause pain in the spine, when the spinal nerves are involved, the pain may radiate into the buttocks, legs or feet. Pain from the lower back muscles can appear anywhere in the lower back. Both spine and muscle pain can be greatly affected by the body position. How to narrow down the possible causes of pain. It is a characteristic of pain and a combination of symptoms, not a single symptom, from which one can suspect the cause of lower back pain. Pain can be sudden or slowly developing, constant or occasional, sharp, throbbing, cramping, dull or affect affected by the body position. Other common symptoms of the kidney diseases, cloudy urine, blood in the urine, burning pain during urination, nausea, vomiting, fever. Other common symptoms of spinal disorders and pinched nerves, back stiffness, numbness and tingling in the legs. Sudden kidney pain. Kidney stones. The stones in the kidneys rarely causes symptoms, but the stones in the ureta do, sudden, severe sharp flank or lower abdominal pain, usually only on one side, that can last for several hours, radiate toward the groin, genitalia or inner thighs or inner thighs, cloudy urine and eventual blood in the urine, burning urination, eventual stone excreted with urine, nausea or vomiting. There is usually no fever. Hydronephrosis, kidney distension due to obstruction of the urine flow caused by a kidney stone lodged in the ureter can result in flank pain and palpable kidneys. Obstruction of the ureter pelvic junction UPJ, mostly due to congenital disorders in children, or after kidney surgery, throbbing pain in the flank aggravated by drinking large amount of fluid. Kidney infection polynephritis, pain in the flank, usually on one side, cloudy urine, burning urination, nausea, vomiting, high fever, diarrhea. Renal papillary necrosis in diabetes or chronic analgesic abuse. Loin pain hematuria syndrome, LPHS, with flank pain, some sometimes on both sides, and blood in the urine in women who take oral Chronic kidney pain. Iganephropathy, Berger's disease dark urine and spasms in the flanks after respiratory or other infection. Polycystic kidney disease, dull kidney pain in both flanks. Chronic hydronephrosis, kidney distension, due to gradual blockage of kidge of the ureter, for example by strictures after ureteroscopy, pain in the flank, usually on one side, a palpable kidney. Inflammation of the kidneys, nephritis or glomerulonephritis bilateral flank pain, cloudy urine, low-grade fever. Kidney cyst or cancer, gradual development of the flank pain, eventual blood in the u- Bad posture. Sleeping on an excessively hard or soft mattress, prolonged sitting with a bent back or neck, carrying heavy bags on the back or in the hands, forced body position or movements during work or inappropriate shoes can cause various vague upper or lower back aches often without other physical symptoms. Scoliosis, curvature of the spine, in most cases does not cause pain but it can sometimes cause chest or back pain. Signs of scoliosis include uneven shoulders, shoulder blades, rib cage and hips, and left or right curvature of spine. It is a doctor, 
preferably an orthopedist, who can make a diagnosis of the spinal deformities. Lower back injury. Fracture of the vertebra can cause pain in the spine and surrounding muscles, numbness or paralysis in the legs. Small vertebral fractures may cause little or no symptoms and can be sometimes discovered only by X-ray or CT scan. Pinched spinal nerves can cause pain or pain in the back, and pain, numbness or tingling in the buttocks, legs or feet. Blunt trauma to the muscles usually results in localized pain, tenderness and bruise. Blunt trauma to the kidneys may result in hematuria, blood in the urine. Strained muscle usually does not result in bruise, but in lower back and buttocks tenderness and pain, which is usually aggravated by activity, bending and lying on the affected side. Herniated disc and sciatica. Discus hernia means protruding of wing of one or more cartilaginous discs in the spine. When discus hernia results in the entrapment of the sciatic nerve, it may cause pain in the back, more prominent on the affected side, and pain, numbness and tingling in the buttocks, legs or feet, usually on one side or, sometimes, on both sides. The pain, commonly called sciatica, is usually aggravated by bending, prolonged lying, sitting or standing and relieved by walking. Spinal arthritis. Ankylosing spondylitis is a form of arthritis that affects mainly the spine. The joint inflammation causes chronic pain and stiffness in the lower back, especially in the sacrum, and occasionally in other joints, such as hips or knees. Acute painful episode episodes, flares, that come and go are typical for the disorder. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative disorder of the spine and joints due to wear and tear. The pain in the spine is aggravated by walking. Disorders of the spinal vertebra. Osteoporosis can cause collapse or fracture of the vertebra with pain in the spine and eventual pains in the legs due to pinched spinal nerves. Multiple myeloma, a rare blood cancer, can affect one or more vertebra and cause pain in the spine and cloudy urine. Osteomyelitis, an infection of the vertebra can cause localized pain and tenderness over the spine and fever. Metastases of other cancers can cause pain in the spine and low-grade fever. Abdominal disorders with lower back pain. Upper middle abdominal pain, and possibly lower middle back pain. Pancreatitis, acute or chronic, peptic ulcer aneurysm or dissection of abdominal aorta upper left abdominal pain, and possibly lower left back pain. Pain. Spleen enlargement in infectious mononucleosis, lymphoma, leukemia with a palpable mass in the left flank. Lower left abdominal pain, and possibly lower left back pain. Constipation diverticulosis or diverticulitis upper right abdominal pain, and possibly lower right back pain. Enlarged liver in congestive heart failure, hepatitis, leukemia, lymphoma palpable mass below the right rib cage. Cholecystitis, gallbladder inflammation, gallstones, tenderness below the right rib cage, pain can radiate into the lower right back, right shoulder blade or shoulder. Lower right abdominal pain, and possibly lower right back pain. Appendicitis, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, abdominal t shingles. An inflammation of one or more spinal nerves caused by herpes zoster virus can cause burning pain and itch in the flank, usually on one side. The pain is usually, but not always, followed by rash along the course of the nerve. Thank you for watching this video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.